So I stumbled upon this post, how to import a GLTF file into Fusion 360. This was asked one year ago, as you can see, on 22, 23 May 2022. And within the comments, we see that a user stated the fact that the texture in a GLTF file will have UV mapping, which Fusion doesn't support. So even if you convert it to a format Fusion can read, the texture still wouldn't work. So that is not true. One file format that can read UV mapping textures and can be added with Infusion is OBJ. So OBJ is a legacy file format for GLB and GLTF. If you are not familiar with the newer 3D formats, I will put a link over here at the top where I presented the main advantages of GLB and GLTF files. So in order to to show how you can import a GLTF file, I've decided to select a case study model. But if I'm gonna go all the way at the bottom over here, we see that even eight months ago, somebody asked, did you ever find a way to pull the texture from GLTF GLB into Fusion? No, sadly not, but after some times I stopped trying. So there might still be a way. Maybe Blender has some tools to do this. I have no experience in Blender. So yes, Blender has some tools to deal with this and it's really simple. So up to the case study, I will make use of this 3D model of an old rusty car. We see over here the user that created this. So this was based on um, 3ds max and substance painter for painting i'm gonna download the model and the chosen file format will be gltf so have that downloaded so before we can edit within fusion i'm gonna unwrap this so i already downloaded this before i created this video so this will be that scene we see that it will be 10 kilobytes and afterwards we're gonna have those models so the model is really low poly so within fusion we have the possibility to add stl obj and 3mf files as meshes so in our case if you want texture we need to go with obj which is a let's say legacy 3d file format has been around for quite quite uh, a long time now and Within Blender, if you don't have Blender, you can just download it. It's free, it's open source, and I highly recommend that you, you will install and make use of Blender since it deals with a lot of file interoperability, so a lot of import-export conversion. Within Blender, go to File, Import, and we're going to see that we have also the OBJ. We see that this is a legacy file format, and we have the newer file format GLTF, also GLB within the same. So I will go to download. We see that this is the old rusty car. This is the scene. So I will select that. I will leave the default over here. So pack images. I will not select merge vertices. Shading use normal data. Lighting mode standard. So have that imported. And we're going to see that within the scene, the car will be quite large compared to, to the reference cube, but that shouldn't be any problem. And now if I will go over here to viewport shading, we're going to see that we're going to have the texture assigned to the object. So the next step is to export the file, but we also going to need to save that texture manually. So let's take a look at how we're going to do that. Initially, I'll just select the model of the car. So this will be that model. Old car FBX will have these objects within. So go to file, export, and have this exported as an wavefront OBJ file. I will just go on desktop, call this untitled one limit 
the export only for the selection so in this case only for that car and have that exported after that jump within fusion go to insert insert mesh and we're gonna see over here we're gonna insert that mesh locally so this is the file created untitled and we have that meshed car added over here as we can see we don't have that texture information so in order to bring the model with textures i'm gonna go back into blender and we also have to go to the uv editing layout and over here if i will zoom out we're gonna see this is the unwrap texture for this car i will go to image save as as we can see within downloads these are the texture of that car for this case study we're just gonna make use of the base color not the normal or the metallic since those are not required for fusion i will go on the desktop and i will change this to uh, from png to a jpeg file so output image into this file format I will also leave the quality at 100% and I will click save. And the next step that we also have to do is to have the model exported once again. So now since we save that model, if I'm going to go to export OBJ, I will just call this untitled one. So before the that dot and uh, also we're just going to export the selection so the scar is already selected export obj and now within fusion go to insert insert mesh and we're going to see untitled one let me reopen that since maybe uh, blender didn't manage to export it and i already already tried to load it but now i see that we have the card loaded twice so we're going to see over here and just going to delete that one. So this is how we can easily add UV textured models within Fusion. You can use those as references, mainly as general references. You can also work around with, with some form, but you will need to work with that mesh before. OK, so I hope you find this kind of content use useful if so please let me know in the comment section if you have any other question regarding this also please consider to to subscribe to this channel if you want to learn some aspects regarding either fusion but i also cover katia blender and other software okay thanks for watching see you in the next video bye